So in the early days, a lot of communities were looked at, but Sewanee was particularly vulnerable in the respect that water supply here is very, very scarce. So the donkeys particularly are used to go with their carts, load up all the water. Sometimes the carts are overladen, donkeys are overworked. So it was this community that really cried out to us that they needed some support. Every week there are new people, new donkey owners that they come and they want the harnesses because they see that this is easy, it's good for them uh, to use them and, and the donkeys are much better, in, better, better, in much better um, body condition, etc. So yeah, so hopefully we can keep going and it feels very good when we come to the community and we see the donkeys and the carts and they are already with our harnesses, you know? Uh, it makes you feel like you are doing a good job here and also the people like what we are doing here for them. No? A lot of the donkey's injuries are caused by abscesses on the mouth because there's wires through the mouth. Um, so we provide the materials, but it's the owners that actually make the, the harnesses. So ARC stands for Animal Relief in Rural Communities. And we support this community here of Sawani. We provide free veterinary care and uh, support for their dogs, donkeys and pretty much any other animals really. But then the other project that we have is here at Motlanatsi, which is a, a government run organisation for underprivileged and orphan children. However, the funding just isn't sufficient to feed up to 150 children every single day. So ARC come in once a week and we provide, we prepare and we cook and serve the food to the children. We also give education on basic animal welfare and how to care for their dogs and their donkeys. Um, but we've just recently extended that into uh, working with the older children where we've uh, started a new initiative which is called Positive Mind, Positive Life and it's teaching life and social skills uh, for the children because uh, there's a lot of children here that don't really have that family support if you like to get things um, like the life skills that they need about respect, about please and thank you, comfort zones, confidence, bullying, anything like that. So it's, be, it's very exciting and it's very good to see how the children have grown over the last couple of years. We do the monthly outreach. So as I say, the dogs are bought in by the owners. They're given a treatment card, much the same as any veterinary treatment card that you would give if you went to a, a vet in town. Uh, we check them all over, we give them vaccination particularly for rabies, um, for 5-in-1 which is parvovirus, distemper um, and we treat them for ticks and fleas, tick bite fever is particularly rife in this area so, and can be a killer and we deworm them because again parasites are really really rife so that is the big part and then on the back of that there will be dogs that identify so there's a, a particularly nasty transmissible tumour transmissible cancer so it's a sexually transmitted tumour that they can get called TVT and that is pr predominant in this in any community really in Africa so on the back of the outreach is we then come back in one or two times a week and we check up on the dogs that we've already seen and we provide treatment we offer sterilization which again is going to eradicate the TVT we are making a huge difference here. Um, we've treated now at the monthly outreaches over 2,000 dogs. And that means that many of the dogs are coming back and are now fully vaccinated, which is a joy. It's also a joy to see that the owners are now feeding them properly. We have far less skinny dogs. But with the children, we concentrated a long time on how to recognise if their dog was sick, how to recognise if their dog was happy, if their dog was sad. And as a direct result of that, these guys have probably saved over 20 dogs by notifying us of dogs that they've, know, they've, they've seen, maybe a neighbour's dog, maybe it's their own dog, and they've called on us. And we've saved many dogs just because of what we've taught the children. So it just goes to prove that education is at actually the, the crux of everything, whether it's the children that can pass it up to the older people or whether it's the owners themselves that can pass it down to the children.